The Launch Our Driving Change Series, we have been hearing from many of you about safety concerns you have for roads that you travel on every day. And one of those people who contacted us was a mother who had recently lost her son in a crash at a rural intersection in eastern El Paso County. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson shares her story and how she partnered with News 5 to drive change. In October of last year, Cheryl McDuff lost her 18 year old son Charlie after an ugly crash at the intersection of Judge Orr Road and Ellicott Highway in El Paso County. Showing incredible courage, she reached out to News 5 to talk about the loss for the first time and why she believed change needed to happen at the scene of the heartbreaking crash. I felt like I needed to do this on behalf of my son and um, to maybe save someone else's life because, you know, he was only 18 and had a big future and this truly was an accident that could have been prevented. Back on February 21st, I drove out to the intersection of Judge Orr Road and Ellicott Highway and found one of the stop signs detached from its post. There were flashing lights, but no indication that the 55 mile per hour traffic on Ellicott Highway didn't also come to a stop. Cheryl says this is what caused Charlie to make a deadly mistake pulling out in front of a large truck. His car was hit and thrown into the field. Working with Cheryl, I took the concerns to El Paso County Commissioner Mark Waller. We're constantly looking at ways based on information we get back from, in some cases, traffic studies, but information we get back from citizens, uh, information we get from folks like you uh, in the media. Uh, we will take a look at each of those intersections. Just days later, the intersection looked much different. The stop sign restored with street signs identifying the intersection, plus brand new signage with that important message that cross traffic doesn't stop. And I emailed you guys right away, and within a few days, you responded, and it's just happened so fast, like, I'm just thrilled about it. In addition to the signage change at the intersection, county officials tell Cheryl they are working to possibly add a memorial sign for Charlie at the intersection. Beyond that, traffic engineers are now reviewing all of the county intersections with flashing lights to see if any other steps need to be taken to drive change. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5. And as we work to drive change across southern Colorado roads all year long, we still need your help with issues and concerns on your daily commute. Let us know by sending an email to drivingchange at koaa.com or you can message us in our Driving Change Facebook group.